welcome back to the channel today I'm doing an update on the electroculture in our garden um, I meant to do an, a one month update but it's uh, we're pushing a month and a half probably right now but this is the first chance I've had to to actually film something now if you remember in my last video I've got this antenna that I put up it's 16 feet high the uh, copper wire is attached to the antenna up the top it runs down uh, clockwise down the rebar and then into the greenhouse now I've got the wire running along here along the ridge and then I splice in that wire by wrapping clockwise also onto that wire and then uh, on some of the tomato plants I have used that wire to run the plants up the wire. Now, this one back here is directly wired to the antenna. It's the end of the run, so I didn't have to splice any wire to it. This is the wire that runs from the antenna. And as you can see, this tomato plant is, uh, it's beyond the ceiling. It's super tall. And if you look at this thing, there are tomatoes all over the place on it. So fruit everywhere. Now the one next to it is not wired. There's not as much fruit and it's not as tall. Not to the ceiling yet. It's probably a foot from the ceiling. There are some tomatoes on it. But nothing like this one that is directly wired. And that wire goes down into the root area of the plant. Another example is uh, this cucumber plant. This is English cucumbers. It's tied into the direct wire, the main wire, again wrapped uh, clockwise and then comes down. The cucumber is growing up the copper and I've tried to wrap the copper, the plant uh, and the copper so that the copper goes clockwise around the plant also and you can see there's a bunch of cucumbers on this thing and it also is it's hit the top there's nowhere else to go along that wire now if you come over next to it the one next to it is not wired it is right here the wired one is up there. There is some fruit on this one. But not as much as the other one. Now again, here's another uh, English cucumber tied in with the clockwise wrap of the wire onto the main line. And the plant is growing up that wire. It is bearing fruit. And again, like the rest of them, the copper wire runs down into the root system. Now, this uh, tomato plant is also connected clockwise wrap, and the plant is going up that. We do have some tomatoes there and yeah so this one is not wrapped or wired and it's doing pretty well it's a actually a little taller than this one that is wired now i don't know if that's if this is uh getting some of the benefits of the antenna that's right outside the door that could be and uh, another one we have in here is this squash I believe this is a butternut and it is wrapped on onto the main line and then comes down into the root system and uh, that squash is doing pretty good now normally squash we have pretty good luck with like zucchini squash but this is a butternut squash and we have never uh, had butternut squash or acorn squash get to full maturity so 
going to keep an eye on that. Uh, if we can get that squash to get to maturity, then you know there's a good chance the electroculture is is doing something there. Now, something I will say about these plants, these tomato plants and the English cucumber, they were all about the same size. So, showing where it's wired and the direct wire, um, I gotta think that it's making a difference. I mean, there's just so many tomatoes on this one, especially this one that's direct wired to the antenna. It's really... I mean, it's just got a lot more growth than any of the other ones. Something else I did over here, these three tomatoes here were the same size. I wired this one to uh, the main line. Again, trying to do a clockwise wrap off the main line. And uh, you can see this one is taller than these two and they all started out the same size. So it's taller, it doesn't have a whole lot of fruit on it, and neither do these. They all have about the same amount. So I think the big test is gonna be how much fruit we get off of these that are actually wired to the antenna. Now, another one we have over here, again, it's wired in, wrapped into the main line and comes down here. This is our pawpaw tree. And if you look at this, about, a quarter of the growth has happened this year and this plant is probably about four years old so um yeah it's doing really well it's usually got close to that much on the leaves but uh it seems to be perking along perking up and being it's a lot healthier this year so keeping an eye on that as well now there's so many variables in our garden uh each year is different the weather's different this year winter lasted about a month extra but once the weather cleared up we were getting a lot of sun up here in the greenhouse and up in the garden area um, we were interrupted by a few weeks of rain again but now it's back to sunshine so i mean every year is a little different so it's really hard to tell and being in such a little confined space where i can't spread everything out to see a real difference in uh, what's been uh, what's been affected by electroculture and what hasn't, it's kind of difficult to say. So, uh, like I say, the, I think the proof in the pudding is going to be how much fruit we get off of the ones that are hooked up to this antenna in the greenhouse. Anyway, now I do have some other stuff out here, and. Uh, another bed that is wired to the antenna so let's go check that out now this bed we've got a wire coming off the antenna going over to this bed and it's hooked on to just this galvanized piece of metal that's in the ground and there's a solid piece of this wire underground that is hooked to this piece so uh and this one being so close to the antenna, it just seems like this bed is going crazy. There's so much lamb's quarter in here, which is an edible weed. We've got our uh, asparagus that we started this year. It was mainly going to be an asparagus bed. We've got kale in here. Kale's doing great. We've got onions down in here. You can see there are the onions. There's some there. So this thing's just kind of packed with all kinds of stuff. There's volunteer potatoes popping up. I didn't want to thin this out yet until I made a video, but uh, this bed really seems to just like be going crazy. And like I said, I've got that metal thing wired to the antenna and we have the antenna right here at the base of it. Now, something else is uh, the cabbage. This cabbage we planted, we have never had cabbage get this big. I mean, these leaves are huge. We're already getting to where we're going to start forming a ball down there. But these leaves are really good size. And this one happens to have a copper and galvanized metal earth battery type thing where I just took copper and hooked it to a section of galvanized metal and... Uh, that reacts with the moisture in the ground and creates a little electric charge. 
now for all intents and purposes, it seems to be doing something. Here's the one next to it. The leaves aren't as big. This one, the leaves are pretty massive. Now, I have this little antenna over here with a cage. This is broccoli. Our broccoli has never been this big this early in the season. I mean, that thing is huge. Usually we struggle with our broccoli. This is one Jen grew from seed. And uh, the ones from seed we usually have a tough time with. So this thing is really taken off. And then again, we got a cabbage next to it. Leaves are huge. Thing is starting to form a ball. Is that that antenna benefiting this? And that antenna, are, you know, we'll see. Uh, it sure seems like it. It's just... Like I said, there's so many variables. We're having such great weather. Now here's some cabbage in another part of the garden. I did do a little copper around a stick in this one. I'm still not sure of the orientation of these. I thought Yannick Van Doren said that the placement really didn't matter, but I'm still working on that. You can put a uh, comment below if you know for sure the orientation matters does uh does one of these copper wires or a spiral do they need to be on the south side of the plant north side of the plant does it matter i'm not sure i have a uh, i do have copper spool in here like this one but i've kind of been moving these around trying to figure out if uh one place is better than the other the other thing that uh, Yannick Von Duren said is best to have these spirals one facing up and another one facing down and that way you're sending energy up and collecting energy that's the theory I believe and again these are clockwise now somebody commented and said which way do you wind these you're winding from the bottom I thought you're supposed to wind them from the top to be clockwise well if you wind it from the top or the bottom it's clockwise either way so I wind from the bottom Yannick has said he starts at the bottom so that's what I do it's really hard to tell but when I look at the four years prior to this year gardening we've like I said we've never had cabbage with leaves this huge our broccoli has never done so well the potatoes are going crazy over here too now Yannick Von Duren says that your antenna, like it's a 16 footer, that energy is spread out 16 feet on the ground around. So all of this stuff could be affected by that antenna. Now another thing we've got going is our fig tree. This year we didn't trim the knotweed from around the fig tree. And I'm thinking that's hidden the figs from the birds because usually we get like three figs by the end of the year. Right now, we've got quite a few figs in here. And uh, I could just kind of keep going through here and finding them. There's some over here. When Jen and I were scouring this fig tree, we found probably 15 to 20 figs. So I'm really hopeful that uh, the birds aren't getting to them this year. I think that, like I said, the knotweed is camouflaging them so the birds aren't getting to it. The other thing we have back there is the hops are back here and they're just kind of growing throughout throughout the uh, fig tree and the knotweed. They're spreading all over. I mean, it's coming out over here and the hops grow like crazy anyway, so I don't really attribute that to uh, the antenna, but yeah it's just a good year the other thing we have over here is this antenna by the grape trellis and you can see that antenna comes down it is wired to this cattle panel and uh this is the first year we're getting grapes now it's the third year for these grapes so they usually do start producing uh, year three is what we were told this type of grape but I mean these things are everywhere it's really taken off 
So is that, you know, is the antenna helping? I gotta think so. This thing has never grown so full and lush. And uh, now we're getting the grapes. Again, it's the third year, so the grapes would pop up, but it's never spread over this whole trellis. We're lucky to get it about up into here by the end of the year. I have another tomato plant here with a copper wire uh, spiral thing going up and then uh, and it's clockwise also and this plant was really tiny smaller than that one and now it's taller not much going on fruit wise but it is taller than the other one now just to give you an idea of the difference this is the broccoli that Jen started from seed and you can see there's my hand it's not super huge and the broccoli over here that's got an antenna and a cage much bigger much taller this was another one and it was uh, really close to the potatoes back there and the slugs were climbing from the potatoes onto here and just devouring this thing but I moved it all out and it's close to the antenna and it's coming back like gangbusters I really thought this thing was about dead now a few of these wires that I had spliced on to the main line, I didn't have them going clockwise. And it seems like when I switched them to clockwise, uh, I noticed a difference in the growth. So from what Yannick has said that studies from before him, uh, people before him, and uh, that the energy flows clockwise. So if you're wrapping clockwise, you're getting that better energy flow. And uh, it would appear that that is the case. I almost forgot. I'm going to take you down by the chickens, by our cabin. And we have uh, an antenna by a pawpaw tree down there. Let's go check that out real quick. Now, this isn't the pawpaw antenna. This is an antenna that's kind of right in our driveway on this box. But uh, I really haven't seen a whole lot of action or growth from this one we've got some beans planted here jen just planted these because the first beans died off so uh yeah i'm not really sure what's going on with that one it doesn't really seem to be doing much but uh we'll take you down here to the pawpaw all right so we have this antenna here it's a uh, probably close to a 10 footer now this wire runs down clockwise, down this piece of rebar. I've got the main line runs down into the ground, into a piece of copper that goes down into the roots of the pawpaw. And then this one is wrapped on to the main line and to the rebar, and it wraps onto the tomato cage. So this is the most growth we've seen out of this thing. There's a lot of new shoots coming off. And uh, yeah, I got to think that that antenna is helping. This thing has never been so full with leaves and new shoots. Okay, so that is my one month plus uh, review of electroculture. And I got to think that it's having an effect. If you do it right, you got to make sure you're wrapping clockwise and your antenna is facing south and the wire comes off the back and runs uh, north. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I think the proof in the pudding is going to be how much fruit starts producing on these. So the next update, hopefully I can show uh, what kind of fruit we're getting off these again. This one is spliced into the main line and it has quite a few tomatoes on it. So it would appear that anything hooked to the main line is uh, experiencing better growth than things that aren't hooked to the main line. All right, so pretty exciting stuff. But again, I've said this a few times, but it's all subjective to, you know, the weather, this is one of the best growing years we've had. It started late, but we're having an incredible growing season. So hard to say, but I mean, we've had good seasons before and I have not seen uh, things grow so 
lush and big like in the first first month and uh this is just summer is just starting we're just on what it's like july 6th today so we got a long time ahead of us i think we're gonna have an awesome yield from our plants in the garden uh stay tuned and i'll do another update in about a month thanks for watching and if you have any questions throw them in the description below i'll try to answer best i can my advice to you is go to yannick van doren's channel it's called yannick vd on youtube and there's all sorts of courses and classes on there in English. And uh, spend some time and watch those. And there's a lot of great information there. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next time.